Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. Today we are going to look at how to perform an action based off of the statement. We're going to do this using the onDo functionality within control M. Own statements have two criteria. The statement, which is the command being executed, and the code, which is the value being returned after the statement. We will now do a demo to show you how to use this functionality. In our test environment, we have three jobs. These three jobs just run three commands that echo an output to simulate the running of a job. On the first job here, we're looking for the word failure. What we're saying is that on any command, if the word failure exists, we're going to send a shout that says the failure was captured successfully. As we can see here, this actually generated an alert, and that we can see that the failure was captured successfully. If we go back and look at the job's output, we'll see that the word failure was actually printed with the first command. Okay, let's look at our second case here. In our second case, what we see is that when the command contains the word test one period and the result is the word failure, that we're going to generate an alert that test two failure captures successfully. And in this case, we see that another alert was created, test two failure captured. If we go back and look at the job's output, we will see that the test one is what actually triggered it, and the word failure was actually part of the result. And this is what generated the alert. OK, let's look at our third job, case three. In case three, we're looking for a command which contains test three period, and we're looking for the word fail in the output. We see that this job completed, but it, it did not produce an alert. It has success below it and does not have fail, so it does not match. And that's why I didn't create a shout. You're probably curious about how we're able to differentiate the command versus the output. The secret to this lies inside of the sysout file. If we go to the agent and look in the sysout directory, we can actually retrieve the output based of the order ID and the run count. What you'll see here is that there's a differentiator that's put in front of the actual command, which lets us know that this is the command and the output is below it. Um, the differentiator is slightly different on Unix, but you can look at the output and figure it out pretty quickly. So from this file, you can actually figure out exactly what the response is, and you can code this into your own do statements. This concludes today's demonstration. Thank you for your time. The workload automation support team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.